All right, prompt writer or custom prompt question answered. So I found this uh, post. I'll drop this link in the description because it gives you um, actually step by step on how to do it, but I will show you how I'm do doing it as well right here. So you're in Zim, you go into, let's say you're doing Penny Arcade, uh, you click on custom prompt and I already put the prompt in, but if you have one, you just name it and you save new prompt, but it looks like this. All right, and you can add whatever you want in there. So this, the way to use it effectively, in my opinion, is that with these custom prompts, you can use this custom prompt just for the intro or just for the conclusion or a mixture of it all, or maybe you just want it for the FAQ. I want it for everything, so if you want it for everything, so you just go prompt for everything above, and you click on that, and now it knows that this one that you name Human Writer is gonna apply for the intro, conclusion, everything on Zoom when it, when it runs. It does take more tokens that way because it runs through this filter um, as well when, you're, when it's writing each section, and for the best results for me is to do the to do the 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 latest GPT whatever it is. So we're on this four preview. I these are the exact settings I use. I put prompt for everything above, and I use this model. So even if you're writing your let me uh, close out of here. Even if you set this for GPT 3.5 Turbo, it will actually write with 3.5, but it will run through this custom prompt using four. You see what I'm saying? So it will use GPT-4 to run this custom prompt, and then when it actually goes to write, it'll write whatever you select it with. And um, like I said, I'll drop this link here on uh, how it's done.